The military junta that had ruled Burkina Faso since January 2022 was overthrown by a coup headed by Captain Ibrahim Traoré in September 2022. On October 21st the same year, Ibrahim Traoré took the oath of office as president. Despite being the world's youngest leader, head of state, he hasn't let that stop him from working tirelessly to improve the nation. Captain Ibrahim Traoré committed himself two to three months to enhance Burkina Faso's security, a political and economic situation after taking office on September 30th, 2022. Infrastructure development has not been spared by Captain Ibrahim Traoré even though ensuring the safety of its population is his top priority. Captain Ibrahim Traoré has already started and completed a number of development projects in addition to continuing earlier initiatives that were started before he came to office. In less than a year since taking office, Ibrahim Traoré has already developed numerous ideas for Burkina Faso and carried out some of the projects he met. Thus, we will be discussing some of his big initiatives. In this video, along with which ones have already been completed. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when we upload videos like this one. Number 1. Construction of Burkina Faso's first gold refinery On November 23, 2023, Burkina Faso's President Ibrahim Traoré laid the groundwork for the country's first gold refinery. 11 months from now, the facility whose entire cost is unknown will generate its first gold with a 150-ton annual refining capacity. A local business called Marina Gold is working with us on the project. The refinery will be the nation's first. It will serve as the future home of the Société Nationale de Substances Précieuses, the state's project manager, as well as a jewelry store. The facility is expected to generate around 5,000 indirect jobs in addition to 100 direct positions, according to the authorities. Number 2. Development of Renewable Energy Sector Since Ibrahim Traoré arrived, Burkina Faso has been aggressively pursuing renewable energy projects to expand access to electricity, diversify its energy sources, and support sustainable development. The project's capacity has been increased under tight supervision. A special emphasis is placed on solar energy because of the nation's plentiful sunshine. The government has put in place programs like the Rural Electrification Program, which aims to give rural areas access to solar-powered home systems and mini-grids. Additionally, substantial solar power facilities have been built. Burkina Faso is also looking at biomass and biogas projects which use agricultural waste to produce electricity, small-scale hydropower projects utilizing the nation's hydropower potential. The financing and execution of these renewable energy projects have been greatly aided by financial assistance and international collaboration from institutions such as the African Development Bank and the World Bank. These programs help Burkina Faso achieve sustainable economic growth, lessen dependency on fossil fuels, increase access to power, and mitigate climate change. Number 3. Modernization of all roads in Burkina Faso Despite being wealthy in mineral resources, Burkina Faso has always battled with an inadequate road network, which is why there has been a lot of resentment. The country is still among the poorest of the continent, but Ibrahim Traoré has carried on where his predecessor left off by funding road building and rehabilitation initiatives to raise the standard and connectedness of the country's road system. This covers building new roads, enlarging existing ones, and converting unpaved roads to paved ones. Additionally, Essential to regional economic facilitation, cross-border roadways link Burkina Faso with its neighbors. In Burkina Faso, some of the road development projects that are presently under progress are the Wagadugu Bobo Dialuso Highway, Kupela Fadanguma Road, and the Boromboro Bo Dialuso Highway. Paved roads will be built as part of these initiatives to improve trade and transportation in the area. The actual work being done on the ground makes it very evident how far things have come in short amount of time. The roads were narrow, dangerous, and in poor condition before. However, because of Captain Ibrahim Traoré's dedication, this reality has drastically altered. Other 70 kilometers of roads have been created in only 9 months. And more are being planned to ease river crossings and promote traffic within the context of economic development. Now traders have safer and easier ways to move their goods. The people living in the areas that have these new roads will cross have expressed their satisfaction to Captain Ibrahim Traoré. Number 4. Construction of Ouagadougou Airport Under the direction of President Ibrahim Traoré, the Burkina Faso government is working on a significant project building the new Ouagadougou Airport. For this project, the ECOWAS Bank and the West African Development Bank provided loans totaling $61.8 million, which Traoré's administration obtained. Additionally, $10.3 million has been allocated by the ECOWAS Bank for investments and development for the construction of administrative buildings. 
The airport's construction is estimated to take more than 420 million pounds and will be finished in 2024. Most importantly, nearly 5,000 jobs are reportedly created during construction. Chari declared the project will resume, but on December 30, 2022, a bidding collapse at the construction site causing a brief pause. Burkina Faso's economy is anticipated to be significantly impacted by the new airport. It is anticipated to draw in new investment and enterprises and facilitate the movement of people and products into and out of the nation. Additionally, the airport will give Burkina Faso's residents employment and opportunity. Additionally, it will feature a terminal structure that can accommodate up to 1.5 million travelers annually. Number 5. Multiple Entrepreneurship Programs Terrorist attacks have been a problem for Burkina Faso in recent years, endangering its stability and impending its economic development. The program has been started to increase resilience through the creation of community-owned companies in order to solve this problem. The program's goal is to encourage the development of local companies that produce, process and market goods in the region's mining, industrial and agricultural industries. Additionally, it will encourage the development of youth employment opportunities. Only Burkina Faso citizens will own these companies. According to Ministers of Finance Abubakar Nakabo, this community shareholding concept is viewed as an effective tool to address economic, social and political concerns. A semi-mechanized good mining and gold mining firm was established by the APEC to operate on three sites. And the tomato paste manufacturer Sofato will expand to include two new processing plants as part of the initiative's launch. A central purchasing agency for local produce and an agricultural mechanization and intensification project aimed at creating 1 million direct jobs within two years are among the other proposals. Number 6. Agricultural and Rural Development Projects A major project that Chari started is called the Agricultural Transformation Program. The objective of this program are to boost food security, boost agricultural productivity, and generate employment in the industry. Plans for the program include giving farmers access to better fertilizers and seeds, as well as training and technical support in enhancing the sale of agricultural goods. Building and renovating infrastructure for water gathering and irrigation greatly lessens the effects of drought and makes year-round farming possible. Projects for rural development are also in existence. In fact, this covers the building and upkeep of marketplaces, the creation of storage facilities and rural road constructions. This will link farmers to markets, ease transportation and lessen habit losses. These initiatives have received money, technical support and information sharing from both rational and international entities. Number 7. Water and Sanitation Projects In order to address the situation of water scarcity, inadequate sanitation facilities and poor hygiene habits, Burkina Faso has been implementing water and sanitation initiatives. This program seeks to increase access to portable water and encourage improved personal cleanliness, especially in rural regions. In order to give communities access to clean drinking water, projects include the installation and maintenance of water supply infrastructure, such as piped water networks and boreholes. In order to improve sanitation standards, sanitary infrastructure projects concentrate on constructing latrines, public restrooms and wastewater management systems. Campaigns to promote good hygiene also increase knowledge of appropriate hygiene behaviors such as hand washing and waste disposal. The provision of financing and technical knowledge for these projects has been made possible by the invaluable cooperation of international organizations such as the World Bank and UNICEF. Burkina Faso's general quality of life is improved, public health is improved, and waterborne diseases are decreased as a result of these water and sanitation projects. Number 8. Samindeni Dam Project For a number of years, Burkina Faso has been working on a significant infrastructure project called the Samindeni Dam. The project is scheduled to be finished in 2024, having begun in 2012. The Mohun River is the construction site of the dam. The project scope included building a 2.9 megawatt power plant and an earth dam of 2,900 meters in length and 23.9 meters in height, with the capacity to store 1 billion cubic meters of water. More than 100,000 hectares of land will be irrigated by the dam, increasing Burkina Faso's agricultural output and food security. In addition, it will produce electricity, lessen Burkina Faso's dependency on imported energy and offer a consistent supply of water. One of Chari's top priorities is this project because it would generate employment possibilities for the nation. Despite all the achievements by Captain Ibrahim Chari, 
There have been numerous coup attempts against his governments that all failed. Fingers are all pointing towards the West, especially France. There is no concrete evidence for that. African leaders should all join Captain Ibrahim Chari in making Africa a better place. What do you have to say about the projects initiated by Captain Ibrahim Chari? Do you think there is a project we omitted? Tell us what you know in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more educative contents like this one.